Department of Pharmaceutical Analysis, Nebula College of Pharmacy, Mangalgiri, Guntur District. Today, I am going to give a demo of FTIR spectroscopy. Now, I will be going to explain about the objectives of FTIR spectroscopy, principle, and also instrumentation and interpretation of the FTIR spectroscopy. So, mainly, first, the objectives of FTIR spectroscopy is to learn the different types of functional groups present in the organic molecule, and secondly, to learn the importance of FTIR spectroscopy and to study the structural insulation of the compounds and third one is to learn the skills and investigation of the organic compounds and finally to identify the compound and investigate the functional groups present in the compound by interpretation of the IR spectrum. Coming to the introduction of FTIR spectroscopy, it is mainly useful to determine the functional groups which is called as a structural illustration of the organic compound. And this IR region is divided into three types. One is the mid IR region, near IR region, and far IR region. Generally, for the pharmaceutical purpose, we use the mid IR region that ranges from 4000 to 400 centimeters inverse. So, the infrared spectroscopy is also called as the vibrational spectroscopy or absorption spectroscopy because molecule absorbs the IR radiation and it undergoes the vibrations. So, there are two types of vibrations which are called as the stretching vibrations and also the bending vibrations which are useful for investigating the functional groups that are present in the organic molecule. Coming to the principle of FTIR spectroscopy, each and every drug molecule consists of the atoms or group of atoms and these atoms are connected by the bonds that may be a single bond, double bond or a triple bond. So, these bonds produce a continuous movement or motion in a molecule 
and it produces a frequency of vibrations which are called as natural frequency of vibrations. When the IR radiation is applied, when this applied IR radiation frequency is in resonance with that of the natural frequency of vibration, then the Murak molecule absorbs the IR radiation and then undergoes the excitation process to produce the vibrations. So these vibrations are called as the stretching vibrations and bending vibrations. There are two types of stretching vibrations which are called as the symmetric stretching and asymmetric stretching. In the stretching vibrations, the bond length may increase or decrease. And especially in the bending type of vibrations, the bond angle may decrease due to the bending vibrations. So there are different types of bending vibrations that may be the rocking, wagging, scissoring and also the twisting. Now let us see the instrumentation of FTIR instrument. This is ATR FTIR instrument, company is Bruker, model is Alpha and generally the components in FTIR instrument are IR radiation source, fixed mirror, moving mirror, beam splitter, ATR crystal and detector. So this is the ATR crystal, here we have to load our sample. This attenuated total reflectant technique is one of the most common sampling technique in FTIR spectroscopy and mainly to enhance the surface sensitivity. In ATR FTIR spectroscopy, the sample is in contact with the ATR crystal and the crystal is made up of zinc selenide material. The IR radiation source is the global source and the IR radiation travels through the crystal and interacts with the sample on the surface in contact with the ATR crystal. Because of the differences in refractive indices of both the materials, total internal reflection occurs. Here, the detector is made up of deuteriated triglycine sulfate and it is called as pyroelectric detector. The main advantage of this technique is small quantity of the sample is required and a high quality spectra is produced in short measurement time. This technique is also useful for analysis of solid truck substance, liquids, semi-solids and also films. Here, the signal is measured by the detector known as interferogram and this interferogram is converted to the IR spectrum. Generally in the IR spectroscopy, we take the transmittance mode on the Y axis. So this is the transmittance mode on Y axis and wave numbers on the X axis that we can see here. The graph or the peaks is reverse and wave numbers we can see in the reverse mode. So the graph is having the wave numbers on the X axis and the person transmittance on the y axis. The stretching vibrations are observed generally at 4000 to 1500 centimeters, that is the functional group region, and bending vibrations are observed at 1500 to 400 centimeters inverse, that is known as the fingerprint region. Now, let us see the demo using the solid drug sample. Before starting the experiment, first clean the ATR crystal using a tissue paper with the isopropyl alcohol. Open the software. Software used is Opus. Enter the password, then log in. Now, go for the setup measurement parameters, write the sample description. So now, I am analyzing one unknown sample, we have to give the name in the sample description. We have to write the file name. We are writing the sample name. Accept and exit. Now go for the measurement parameter and we have to start the background measurement. We have to wait until 
15 scans are completed. We can see here the green light till the background 15 scans are completed. Now we have to load the sample on the ADR crystal. I have loaded the sample on the ATR crystal. Go for the measurement and start sample measurement. The sample measurement we can also see here total 15 scans for the sample measurement you can see the green light when the sample is being scanned for 15 scans so we got the spectrum here now go for manipulate do the smoothing of the piece select the file to do the smoothing of the piece after smoothing, go for the peak picking. Now, to get the wave numbers displayed here, we have to go for the peak picking. After the wave numbers are displayed, we have to store. Now, go for file, we have to save file as you know software mode that is the opus format then save then again go to the file go for the print setup then quick print Now we have to save the spectrum in the file folder on the desktop. We have to give the file name. And save the file. Now we have to open and we can see the obtained spectrum with the XPS viewer here. Now we have to do the interpretation of the IR spectrum. So in the interpretation of the IR spectrum, which is the sample spectra we have taken here, we can see the OH stretching observed at 3780.39 cm inverse and OH deformation peak of alcohol group observed at 1431.42 cm inverse. Next C double bond O stretching is observed at 1647.72 cm inverse it indicates the presence of amide group next we can see NH stretching of amide which is observed at 3103.12 cm inverse next C dash O stretching of alcohol observed at 1219.76 cm inverse next C double bond C skeletal vibrations of aromatic ring observed at 1606.76 cm inverse. By these observations in this spectra, finally the sample may contain 
aromatic ring attached with the hydroxyl group and amide functional groups. Finally, I thank the management and head of the institution, Nirmala College of Pharmacy, for giving me this opportunity. Thank you. Thank you very much.